I'm going to be showing you how to do all the puzzles as well as the location of the data card and indoors Ewok Village within LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's Galaxy Free Play. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're starting off with the first puzzle which is called Welcome to Ewok Village, the classic Welcome to puzzles that are in this game. So we're just going to switch to a scavenger character here and use their Breaker Blaster ability to destroy the weak wall, giving you access to the Kyber Brick for Welcome to Ewok Village. So moving along, we're doing Great Wait Gate, and this one took me a little longer than it should have. Uh, so basically there's going to be two sets of three logs that you need to use the Force on with a Jedi or Sith character uh, to put the logs into place. So the first one's, uh, the one on the left I guess I should say, is going to require you to put two logs in there, and then the one on the right is completely empty and you have to put all three. And all of the logs are found in the nearby area, so if you can't find it, just kind of walk around a little bit, it shouldn't take you too long. And I was having trouble finding the last one, but it's actually on the bridge nearest the logs. There it is. So let's go ahead and put that one into place. Once you got uh, both of those filled, the door will open, giving you access to the cover brick for Great Weight Gate. Alright, so now we're going to do the data card for Ewok Village here. It's going to be on the top of the map here. You're going to notice a little door that has the data card behind it. Well, if you go over here to the right, destroy the vines, then hit the target with a lightsaber or blaster, It'll open up the door for the data card for Ewok Village. All right, next up, we're going to do Window of Opportunity here, sort of in the middle of the map. There's a lot of different uh, floors uh, to the Ewok Village, which makes things a little bit uh, you know, difficult to show on the map. Uh, but this one, all you have to do is find the nearby peg, which you're going to find on the ground. Get rid of any vines here. And we're just going to use the force with a Jedi character to put the peg into the wall, then use an acrobatic character like a Jedi to swing up and get the cap break for window of opportunity. Alright, here on the far left side of the map, we're going to be doing Ewok Infiltration. And this one's just going to be on the back side of this tree. Destroy some of the Lego objects, then switch to a protocol droid, split them in half, get inside to get the cover brick for Ewok Infiltration. Next up, we're going to do Throne Away, but it's spelt like a, you know, a king's throne or something like that. So you look up and you'll notice a grapple hook uh, handle. So switch to a character that can grapple, like a hero, bounty hunter, or astromech droid. And then you're going to get a buildable throne which you can build, which is going to cause a character to walk outside, talk to him, and he'll give you the kyber brick for Throne Away. Moving right along, we're now going to do Ewok Lock here on the left side of the map. And we're going to walk in here and we're going to talk to this Ewok. And this one actually took me a little while to figure out, but we're going to talk to him and then go across this uh, rickety bridge. Make sure you don't fall off. And there's going to be a character at the bottom here that you can use your Jedi mind tricks on, so make sure you're playing as a Jedi. And we're going to lead the Ewok all the way up here to the top, and then you're going to have to mind trick him again to get him to walk across the rickety bridge here onto the other side. Once you do that, meet him over there by getting you know your own character across the bridge. Then talk to him, and he'll give you the key that you need. Go back in to the original spot that you uh, talked to the Ewok at, and then that will give you the Kyber Brick for Ewok Lock. So a lot of uh, Jedi mind trickery to get that, uh, that key for the lock. But uh, next up, we're going to do... Coniferous Climb, I guess is how you say that, and we're just going to uh, grapple up here. This is in that same location across that rickety bridge, and pull down that switch, and that's going to open up this door for Coniferous Climb. Alright, so next up we are going to do Courageous Cache, and this is going to be inside one of the rooms here, and this is going to be for a vehicle token. I believe this gives you the TIE Interceptor, if I remember correctly. So we're going to walk inside here, and you'll notice a lock on the door and all you have to do is use the force on the nearby puzzle pieces and put the puzzle pieces into their proper locations and uh, other than that uh, this is a pretty simple one you will have to go up here on the second level to find uh, one or two of the puzzle pieces and once you find all of them put them in the place that will open up the vehicle token and that is it for courageous cash and again, I believe that gives you the TIE Interceptor. So next up, we're going to do Koro Thalik, I guess is how you say that. This is going to be, again, in one of the indoor areas. Get it indoor. But uh, anyway, we're going to walk inside. And this one uh, took me a little while to figure out, but it's actually very simple. There's going to be a switch right above the cage, which has the kyber brick in it. So you're going to use the force to pick up one of the... Uh, Lego objects and basically just hit that switch with your Lego object and that's going to open up the cage for Koro Fleek. So next up we're going to do Silver Secrets here and now anytime you see the word Silver in a puzzle name 
you probably know by now you need to switch to a villain character and use their uh, grenade ability to blow up a silver Lego object, giving you the Kyber Brick for Silver Secrets. Okay, next up we're going to do Yesh or Gutcha, I guess is how you say that. I have no idea, but uh, it's another one of these indoor areas, so we're going to walk inside. And once again, this is kind of a copy and paste room that they use a lot in this area. All you have to do is pull three switches within a like 15 second time frame or so. And it's very easy to do if you have a Jedi character because you can pull the switches from distance. And that's going to be it for Yes or Gutcha. So next up, we're going to do Ewoksi when you know how. I guess is how you say that. Um, so we're just going to use the force or use that right lightsaber throw to destroy the vines. And you'll notice a little pattern, three symbols. And all you have to do is go down here, go down the zip line, and match the three symbols. That'll open up the door. Then you have to go all the way back up, which actually takes a while. I don't know why they made that so far away. And that's going to open up the door. Then we can jump over and grab the Kyber Brick for Ewoksi when you know how. And make sure you don't uh, go down the zip line accidentally like I almost did there. All right, next up we're going to do Ewoksi Peasy or Ewoksi Peasy. Who knows? Um, but uh, this is going to be right in front of those switches that we just did for the previous one. All you have to do is look on the tree trunk in the background, match up the symbols, and get you the cap brick for Ewokasi PZ. So, moving right along, we're going to do Jix Cheese, or I guess is how you say that. There's no E at the end of cheese, which is uh, kind, of, kind of odd. So, we're going to walk inside here, another indoor area that they're going to reuse once again. This is reused like five or six times, I feel like, throughout this area. Uh, so this one, all you have to do is destroy a nearby uh, Lego object, which is going to have a switch underneath it, and then stand on it, and that's going to open up the Kyber Brick. So yeah, very simple. Literally just standing on one switch. Jix cheese. So next up, we're going to do Ewokasi as Pi, and uh, this is going to be a very similar one. So this is near the one we just did. We're going to walk over here, or climb over here, I should say. You're going to see another set of three symbols. Once you kind of memorize that, uh, input them over here, and you won't notice anything, but that should unlock the door. If you go back, you'll notice it's open. That's going to get you the Kyber Brick for Ewoksi as Pi. So next up, we're going to do Tricky Targets, and this is going to be uh, kind of on the second to last level, or second to bottom level, I should say. And nearby, there's going to be four different targets. You can see all their locations right there. Some of them are going to be behind vines. And once you shoot all four of those, it's going to give you the Kyber Brick for Tricky Targets. All right, moving right along, we're going to do Ewok Robotics. And up here, we're going to have to do a little bit of climbing. So we're going to pull one switch here, and you'll notice one of the four flames around this door is going to turn green. And so essentially what you have to do is pull four different switches within like a, what is it, like a 90-second time frame or something. It gives you quite a while to do it. And so that's three of four, and we basically just have to keep climbing this tree, do a little bit of platforming and whatnot until we pull all four switches. Once all the flames turn green, you can then get the Kyber Brick for Ewok Robotics. Next up, we're going to do Yub Yub Jiroda. Um, I'm going to assume is how you say that. A lot of uh, weird uh, names in uh, the uh, Ewok Village uh, puzzle names. But uh, So this is another indoor reused area once again. And there's going to be three switches this time that we need to stand on all at the same time. But of course, you only have two characters. So that means you need to stand on one and then on the other two, you need to play as a protocol droid and split them in half to stand on the other two. That's going to open up the cage for Yub Yub Jiroda. So, moving right along, we're going to do cogs and logs here on the bottom right side of the map. You're going to notice this bridge, which needs to be moved down. So, we're going to use the nearby switch. And there's going to be, I think, like three or four different gears we need to put into place. They're all going to be behind these green vines. And once you find them, you can use the Force on them with the Jedi or Sith character to put them in place. All you have to do is kind of match the colors on them. And I think this is the last one right here. I think it's just three. We're going to put all three gears into place, then pull the switch, and that's going to cause the bridge to go all the way down. You then go across and go down the zip line for Cogs and Logs Kyber Brick. So there you go. So next up, we're going to do Bow Bouncer. And it's going to be on the very bottom right of the map. And this one's going to be kind of uh, in a weird spot, but to get over there, what I did is I switched to a scavenger character and used their glider ability and just barely made it across. I'm not sure if this is the official way you're supposed to do it, but you know what? That's the way I found out how to do it, and you can do it too. I'm just going to go around and get the cap brick for Bow Bouncer. All right, next up is Trunk Trial. Again, this is going to be on, or at least towards the bottom of the map here. 
And once you get down here, there's going to be, I think, four different switches we need to push in the correct order. And you'll know the order based off the number of torches on the wall there. So one of the switches is going to have one torch, uh, another switch is going to have two torches, etc. That's kind of the order you have to pull them in. Then you'll get the cover brick for trunk trial. So moving right along to net profit, and this is going to be over here on the right side of the map. All you have to do is switch to a scavenger character and use their net launcher ability to shoot a couple nets on the side of this tree trunk here and climb up to get the cover brick for net profit. Okay, so next we got to do stable on trunk. This is more in the middle of the map, and there's going to be a grapple hook on the side of this tree, so make sure you switch to a character that can grapple, like a hero or bounty hunter or even an astromech droid. Climb up all the way to the top, and then go across this tree trunk here to get the Kyber Rick for stable on trunk. Okay, so now we're going to do end horde. It's going to be on the top side of the map. We're going to walk inside this building, and this is another one of those easy ones to switch to a bounty hunter character. To destroy the gold lego object and get you the cabin brick for end horde so next we're going to do wings of junk here again yeah, kind of more towards the middle of the map we're going to switch to a scavenger character and use their glider ability to glide off this ramp and get you the cabin brick for wings of junk all right next up we're going to do totem transportation now this one's got quite a bit of steps to it so there's going to be four of these C-3PO totems that we need to put into place. The first one's just going to be uh, right in front there. You don't really have to work for that one. But this next one, we're going to use this switch on the left side to move the elevator down, giving you the first totem that we're going to put into place. And then we're going to move over here to the opposite side. This is the right side of the C-3PO you know, face statue. We're going to move down a level and get this next uh, totem here. And we're going to have to use this uh, little pulley switch here to move the elevator up here to the second level where this totem is put the totem on the elevator then raise it all the way up to the top and then you can use the force from there to put it into place that's two of four and then the third one's actually going to be closer to where we got the first one here on the left side and if you remember the totem was on this elevator here but instead of uh, just bringing it down this time we're actually going to put our co-op partner on that elevator and then we're going to raise him all the way up to the top because that's going to be where the third totem is. So once we get up here, we can use the force to bring the totem all the way down, put it into place. That's going to be three of four. Then, of course, the fourth one was just sitting right in front. You didn't have to do anything for that one. And then you can get you the cover brick for totem transportation. All right, almost done here. We're going to do treasure trove trunk here on the left side of the map. And this one's very simple. You're supposed to use, like... Uh, I guess the nearby orange blocks to get leverage to reach that net, but I was able to just jump up there and get it, so very simple there. So next up we're going to do swing time here on the top left side of the map. Um, so you'll notice a kyber brick kind of uh, hanging off the bottom here. All we have to do is swing on these vines, and you have to use the kind of annoying swing uh, mechanic in this game. Uh, we can swing over and get the kyber brick for swing time. All right, moving right along, we're going to do forest flying next here on the left side of the map. And this is another one of these where you have to switch to a scavenger character and use their glider ability to go off this ramp. Now, this one is a lot lower than the ramp, so you have to kind of stop in midair like I did there to get the Kyber Brick for forest flying. So just make sure you stop at the right time. It might take you a couple tries. Uh, so this one actually didn't show up on the map. It's going to be one of these buildings. I had to, like, select it from the puzzle menu in the game. It's called, uh, I don't even know how you say this, E-Sheet. Edda, I guess is how you say that. Um, so inside you have to destroy eight spider webs, which is very simple. You'll have to go up to these second floors a few times to get some of the spider webs. Destroy all eight of those to get the kind of brick for however you say that word. <laughs> so moving along, we're going to do deity decoration here, last but not least. And this one will require you to put these different colored flowers in opposite order. So it goes like orange, blue, orange, blue, etc. Uh, so just make sure the colors are, are uh, alternating and you will get it uh, correct here. And you will not have this puzzle unlocked until you actually complete uh, all of these side missions or certain side a certain side mission in this area. So make sure you check out my side mission guide if you need help for that if this puzzle is not showing up. But once we do that, we'll get the cover brick for deity decoration. And guys, that's going to be all of the puzzles as well as the location of the data card for Indoor's Ewok Village. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.